Hey everyone, Nuno here and welcome to today's video. Now I'm bringing back Stardew Valley with uh, an, a different kind of video. I'm going to be talking about some of the modes that I'm using on Stardew Valley and that I cannot play without them, basically. It's not like they're very important, I mean you can play without those modes, but it's really um, a, a change when you do them. You know, it's, it, it, it becomes, at least for me, it becomes a better game. Uh, but before starting the video, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's really important. The more subscribers we get, the the easier and the faster it will be to get to the giveaways that I want to do in the future. Um, I'm, I also would like you guys to um, leave a thumbs up into the video and a comment down below also, if possible. So let's start the video and let me just load the game. I have a few saves in here. Okay, so I'm doing this one. This one is the one I'm, I'm mostly using. Uh, I've been doing a lot of videos with uh, with this um, safe game. So, what is the first uh, mode that I want to talk about? Well, um, yeah, I have to move around here, I'm sorry. So the first mode I want to talk about is the C -edge, uh, CJB um, see cheats menu. I think I'm I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, this is a very important mode for me. So it allows you to do a lot of things, um, including cheating on on the game, basically. But I'm not using it just for that. I mean, you can see in here in players and tools, you can have infinite stamina, health, uh, movement speed. You can have one hit kill. You can always have max uh, daily luck. Um, you can add money, money. Uh, you can add casino coins, um, all of that, you can have a lot of things. Just, as you can see, this is kind of cheating, yeah. You can also have, uh, increase your skills, uh, you can reset your skills if you want to, if it makes you, well, when you reach all level 10 of the skills and you want to reset them, that's also another way. You can control the weather if you want to set raining, lightning. You can also control your your um, relationships. As you can see, I've placed it in here, no friendship decay. So what it means is the moment the game works in a different way. So um, you make a friend and if you don't talk with that friend, you know, you, you start losing the, um, you know, the friendship with them. And I just in this case, I, I did uh, turn on the no friendship decay, but um, everything else I'm I'm doing the normal way. You can also uh, wa warp, I think it's warp how you pronounce it. You can warp to different uh, locations on the <laughs> on 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 the game. So that's like a, a teleportation, fast time, something like that. You can also control time. Um, and in here you can also set the control keys and stuff like that um, and also uh, you can um, do a few tweaks in farming fishing and um, ma ma machine processing and all that stuff so this is a very powerful mode it can break the game and break the fun of the game so what normally I do in here is I try to realize what I really want for the game from the game and what I want to do so in here I don't normally normally I don't um, I don't use anything in here to the exception of harvesting with um, with a cycle uh, cycle I think it, that's how you pronounce it uh, so this helps you a lot when it's the time to harvest. If you know harvesting, you have to go crop to crop, one by one. It's a pain in the ass, basically. And by doing this, uh, it's a lot faster. And honestly, in my opinion, it's a lot funnier. I, I, I do enjoy the moment when you're just, uh, you know, siphing it or skyfing, uh, cycling, cycle. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. But when you're using that tool, um, it just makes everything I mean it's it's fun I like it so that's normally one of the things I normally turn on um, also when it comes to fishing uh, fishing is a mini game on the on, on, on Stardew Valley and it's something that I really don't like I really don't appreciate it that much 
Um, I know it has some kind of importance in terms of achievements, but it's something I'm not really that fond of. So normally what I do is I turn on instant catch and instant bite. Um, having in mind that instant catch is the most important. Instant bite in here is to make it faster. That's the only reason why I do it, is to make it faster. For me the most important is to have inst instant catch. Um, everything else I normally don't turn on because it's gonna make the, the game even easier you know and I don't want to do that uh, when it comes to skills I don't do anything weather I normally don't do anything also um, relationships I only turn on the no friendship decay so I don't want to lose friendship if I don't talk with them that's something I don't want to do warp locations I don't normally I don't use them um, you can call you can say that this is kind of cheating but it's i could also say maybe it's not because in game you have lock, you have those items i think it's totems that you can use and you can teleport yourself to some locations um this one in here well it, yeah it's cheating you have a lot more locations to use uh time time is something normally i sometimes i use um Freezing time um, inside your house or inside the caves or everywhere or just uh, move the time up or down. You can see that I'm moving this. You look uh, over there in the in the time location, it's also moving up or, or down. Um, freezing time everywhere, it's good if you want to, let's say, you have a big crop and you want to do that, you know, you want to do that. It, 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 if you don't use the freeze time, what's going to happen is... Um, basically you're gonna have a lot of um, crops and not enough time so freezing time will allow you to not spend more than one day uh, you know uh, preparing the land plotting the land basically um, planting the seeds and watering all the all the land basically those are the three uh, steps you have to do uh, normally on the first day if you wanna live from uh, your crops and basically by freezing time everywhere you can enjoy it take it easy and have no problem with that um, after that yeah you have the um, you can have here the um, time control keys so you can set a, a grow tree or grow crops um, key this is for instant grow I don't use it freeze time I do that so that's freezing time everywhere I normally I do that when I need so I, I've used it sometimes in in some of the videos um, and um, the P um, key P key or PK um, P key I think it's key um, you can use it to open this uh, this menu and also to close it it's the same thing so that's uh, a very important mode that I use um, it allows me to do a lot of things so if I use the sky th um, I don't have anything to harvest but I just have to do that and all that is surrounding me let me see if I have anything that I can uh, harvest in here no I don't have anything so I can use this and and receive all of the all of the stuff that I I really really want um, from it so another um, another uh, mode that normally I use is experience bars so um, let me just go here um, there's no really a, um, a bigger way to show you that um, let me just check if there's any option no so basically you have uh, right now I don't have it because I'm already high, uh, top level but if you're starting up you have an I probably can do that let me just try to um, exit to title and do a, a load loading um, a different save game um, why not why not loading this one so I can show you guys the experience bars as you can see here it is you have it shows you the experience bars you have so it's good you have a, a different approach of all the skills you know uh, farming foraging mining um, even your 
how you say how is the skill um combat skill so you have a, a bigger overview of how, how much you need um to level up so that's that's something i normally use i also use something else um which is uh, in this case the NPC map location it's really useful so when you open your map you can see where um, every NPC of the game are, is located so you can see that um, right now in Marn's Ranch you have Jazz, uh, Jazz, Jazz I think that's how you pronounce it Shane and Marn, Marnie, 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 yeah exactly and um, here on the wizard's tower, there's the wizard in my farm. Well, it's myself. But this way you can um, you can see where everyone is. So that's that's also something um, I like. Another thing I like, but um, let me see if I have anything else I can show you guys in here. Yeah, there's another mode I like to use, which is this one. is the UI um, info mode, basically. So this, this is kind of like the options for it, but um, this mode can also work out with the other ones I was talking about. So we can show luck icon, which is this one in here. Um, it will show level up animations, show the experience bar also like I was showing you, allow the experience bar to fade out. Um, it shows the experience you gain, um, also shows the town people on map. So this other mode, it kind of um, unifies um, all, the other, uh, all the other previous modes that I talked about, uh, to the exception of uh, CGB C, uh, cheats menu, um, in order to you know, have uh, a bigger uh, content. And it shows a lot of things in here. You will get in here the information when is the day that a traveling merchant is, uh, is, um, is available, when someone is doing, when it's someone's birthday also, it will show you in here. Um, it's, uh, it's really good and it's worth it. Now, let me go back to my previous save because I'm more advanced over there and I have more friends. I have the house updated. I have access to the calendar because the next thing is also very, very important. Um, it's another mod that I use that allows you to know uh, basically, uh, I don't know if it's in here uh, or if it's in here. Let me just check it out. Okay. Mm, it's not. No, I was I was mistaken. I, I thought it was a mode that would show me what are the items that everyone wants. That I normally sometimes I use that mode, but uh, I have not it installed in here. So um, I will talk about this mod in a further or future um, episode where I'll talk about different mods I'm gonna be trying. That's something I, I will probably try out in here. Now the other thing, the other mode that I normally use and it's very important is this one. It's called the simple crop uh, label. So basically, you have uh, access. Um, you see your crops. You pass the, you know, when you cross or when you hover it with your with your mouse uh, pointer, it will tell you what is the name of the crop and how long it takes for you to harvest. So tomorrow or the next day in here, I will be able to harvest all these tardew berries while the ancient fruit will take me nine days and the kale five days potatoes five days uh, these ones are kale last all four days so you can see in here that um, it gives me more information it's it's a lot of easy information but it's kind of worth it at least for me it is um, and that's basically it guys uh, that's basically it um, I'm gonna leave down below on the description the links for these modes if you want to install it. If you don't know how to install the modes and how to play um, your uh, Stardew Valley Steam version, uh, modded version on Steam, um, I'm also gonna leave uh, down below a link uh, on the description for it. Probably I'm also gonna place it in, in here on a card. Um, you can uh, check it out the video I explain how you guys can do it. Um, yeah, uh, that's basically it. Uh, it's 
just those modes for me, the, these modes uh, are the most important things. Um, I mean, they, they do change a little bit the gameplay, you can say that. Yes, they do change a little bit. But uh, what they change is uh, minimal, at least for me. It makes the game more fun. Uh, it makes the game easier in some uh, things that I want them. I want the game to be easier so I can keep on enjoying the game the way I want it. Um, but if you don't know how to use them or if you uh, abuse of them or overuse them, mainly the CGB um, uh, mode, it's gonna be um, you know it's gonna be complicated for you. You may break the game, not break in terms of bugs and the game shutting down. Not, not like that, but the fun of the game, it may break it up. But anyways, that's up to you guys. Once more, thank you very much for watching this video. Please, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notifications so you can know when I'm going to submit another video. Also, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. And I will see you guys soon with more Stardew Valley mode videos and maybe some other content also. So yeah. Cheers.